Vignettes in the History of Archaeology, Episode 4, Worsay. Jens Jakob Amusen Worsay, 1821-1885, is what we call the world's first professional archaeologist. Even as a child, he enjoyed digging in the ground and discovering artifacts. He was fascinated by them. Uh, in his youth, he became a volunteer with Christian Thompson, who is the man responsible for devising the three-tiered system of the Stone Age, Bronze Age, and Iron Age. Uh, he worked to organize archaeological connections at the National Museum of Denmark. And so Worsay becomes really the first person to receive proper actual training in archaeology. In 1843, he published a work called Primeval Antiquities of Denmark, and this was done at the age of 22 with the king's sponsorship. At the age of 34, he was appointed the first inspector for conservation of antiquities, and he becomes the first professor of archaeology at the University of Copenhagen. He excavates in order to answer questions rather than to seek riches. He wants to know what it is that we can learn from the ancient peoples. What is it that we can learn about ourselves through the past? And so he is really engaged in the scientific endeavor rather than the adventuring aspect of archaeology, rather than the wealth, uh, wealth aspect of it. He is concerned with knowledge. What can we learn? He says, antiquities have a value with reference to the spot in which they are found. It's necessary to examine and to compare these places. And so the idea of context and provenance truly gets its start here with Worsay. He discovered these large piles of shells along Denmark's coast, and he discovered that these were what are called middens, or trash heaps. So we know that people ate in that part of the neighborhood. They tossed away all of those things. And this leaves this record for us that we can then use to learn about those people. He also worked to excavate as a way of testing the three-age system that Thompson had put into place, and he showed the real chronological phases of mankind. <laughs>